Well, welcome to the Hancock Hill Homestead. I'm early up this morning. Uh, got up, got to do some things. I got a trip to make. So what I want to do is try to knock out one of these little projects. And this is kind of a follow-up from the other day from the corn grinding. Uh, a couple of questions was asked me. He says, what, how do you sift yours? I said, well, I use a strainer. I think I bought maybe at Dollar General, Walmart, or whatever else like that. And I said, really, it's nothing but a, a it's just a strainer. I'll show it to you real quick. It's a simple and easy, something simple. Really, it's just a pasta strainer, whatever you want to call it. But it's got a real fine mesh of wire on it. And that's why I said, I want to make sure everybody sees it. It's, that's all it is. And what I do is I shift it and I'll give you a good quick demonstration of how I do it, what's going on. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just a matter of work. That's the thing it is. I know I got a long ride ahead of me, so I want to try to get this out of the way and get some of this done. And I got two or three things to do this week. I know I've had two or three guys call about a couple other things needing some help. Uh, can't help them this week. Being a fireman, you know, there's a state convention right now and it's at Myrtle Beach. And I want to go down there and hear some of the lectures they got going on and some information on what we got going on around here. So that's that's kind of what I'm after right now is to see what's happening with that. So watch in real quick. I'm going to move this down a little bit because I'm going to back up here to the other thing. And I see my neighbor across the road. So uh, maybe he'll come over and help me out. But, you know, if he don't, that's all right too. But anyway, I already got one bag done. You see, I take and put it in a bag. I make sure that I got it. And if that's too far away, you know, I'll get to you. But all you do, here's the bag that I ground the other day. I told you I use it for a reason. That way when I get through, I don't got that much waste. Put it in there, ease it out, put it right over the bowl, shake it around. And that's why I said, it ain't, it ain't rocket scientist. Let me come back around, I'll get closer to you. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, sifting. You see, you're shaking it. And it's falling through, see? And then the thing it is, once you get it up to a rhythm, you you can just steady shake. And it comes through the screen. And it comes out a nice, fine, sifted cornmeal. I'll set this down where I can do it a little faster. And that's why I'm doing it outside. Because it's a little dusty. <clears throat> Not only that... You make a mess. I mean, why would you want to not do it outside where if you make a mess, you ain't got much to clean up? And I'll show you another reason why I do a lot of it outside here in just a second. And it only takes just a few minutes to do a good amount, but the thing it is, you see how I'm shaking it around? and it separates the husk of the corn from the the germ of the, it's what it's called, the germ, the germ in the middle, the white powdered looking stuff inside of the, the corn itself. Once you get into a pattern, you can pretty much go with it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna make a mess. You're gonna have stuff everywhere. But anyway, here it is. You see, real close up fine, that's the, a lot of the husk that come off the corn that where the outside shell is. All right, here's the cornmeal. And see the difference? There's a lot of difference. And what you do, you can do with this. And what I'll do is I'll turn you around because y'all ain't bear with me here. Let me get this thing where it'll move. You know how things are. You never... You never get it where everything is easy. 
I don't care what you do, ain't nothing ever easy. But anyway, I usually feed my chickens in the morning right here. So guess what? Now, we got chicken food. It's just leftovers. I mean, the chickens eat corn, don't they? So y'all had to excuse me with this thing here. It's just a little carried away and I'm gonna do another one right quick. So y'all bear with me. <clears throat> I was listening to uh, some of the ones that's doing the other things. and Anyway, I've had, I've had a couple of people ask me about certain things. One of them is going, uh, going places and being able to talk to people. No, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. I, one thing I do like to do is talk to meet people, new people, and talk to them and, and share ideas. Because nowadays, that's what we got to do, share ideas. Because we did one thing about it, us being younger people. We let, we let a whole generation, you know, go by, and they don't talk to our senior people. Um, who used to live here was my grandmother and my grandfather. My grandfather passed away when and before I was born. So, you know, that that made it that made it a little tough. But uh for me to ask him questions. But my grandmother, she lived to be about seventy eight years old. And me and her used to she'd come out and meet us at this door right here. It's been changed around some. It used to have uh open windows, but I put windows up. And I can remember her coming to the door and asking us, you know, what y'all doing here so early? You know, and well, we couldn't sleep. Got up. First question out of her mouth, guess what? Y'all had something to eat. You know, sometimes you never think about what you got to eat. But during her time when she was small, she was telling us things that, you know, they had to do they were had the rationing stamps. Do you, how many of y'all ever heard of rationing stamps? The military during the war had them on stamps. They, and they used to be some stamps that was in collected in here. I don't know who wound up with them in the, in the you know, dividing up the information and stuff like that and the, and the family heirlooms. But uh, somebody's got some because there still was some here we could look at. And I remember them as a child. And the thing of it is, you know, kind of heard through the grapevine that it's possibility that it's a matter of what your last name starts with. Guess what? There you are with your name again. That it could go to rationing again on certain fuels and certain items. So, in other words, if your name A and B, you know, you would go today on A, and if you didn't, you was out to B, you would go tomorrow. And if you didn't get your gas on that day of whatever that letter was of that week, you didn't get gas or fuel or stamps or your rations or whatever it is. Uh, how, how hard would that be for us nowadays? Because we've, we've been in such a time of plenty that we don't know anything in the world about rationing. We don't know anything in the world about uh, doing without. Um, it's been always easy for us just to go right down the street. Let's go down here and get us something. What would happen? But the thing of it is, are we prepared? That's the next thing is, are you prepared for your next meal? Are you prepared for a meal for next week? Are you prepared for a, a meal next year? Um, I'm try, not trying to scare anybody, but the thing of it is, you know, that's why in the old days people planted gardens. They planted gardens to eat now and to eat next year during the cold part of the year. You put it up and you preserve it for that reason. Um, yeah, I know I pick it some folks on here about it, about going and doing their garden under the air conditioning garden, which is most times in the vegetable produce aisle of the grocery store because it stays around 68 to 70 degrees, somewhere in that area. It usually don't get above 75, but anyway, it's usually cooler in there 
than it is in my garden out there, which is probably about, I don't know, about 80 now. So, um, but the thing of it is, you gotta love what you do. And God, you know, says, don't store all your treasures up on this earth. Store all your treasures in heaven, you know. Uh, put a lot of put a lot of trust in that. But anyway, to the screen, I gotta get busy. I got three more bags to go. But anyway, I wound up using my corn grinder the other day too to grind some chicken feed. Some corn I had uh, bought for deer corn that now I'm turning it around and making feed for my animals. So, you know, where you get a deal one time, you better grab it, may use it for something else later on. So, but anyway, I wanna thank you again for attending Hancock Hill Homestead page. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification. Uh, other than that, if I ain't seen you now, maybe I'll run into you on the street. Have any questions, just ask me, I don't mind. I, I like talking anyway, and like cutting up. Got a lot of guys who are sick right now and a lot of things going on, so keep them in your prayers. So another thing, thank you for watching Hancock Hill Homestead. Y'all have a good day. See ya.